Git is a great way to track and control the development of any type of software project. But issues like accidentally deleted files can quickly make for a major problem in your workflow. But thankfully in this video I'll teach you how you can restore deleted files in Git. So without any further delay, let's get into the video. But before moving forward into the video, make sure you subscribe to our channel so that you'll never miss any of our future videos. What is Git? Git is just the capacity for code records present on every web developer's framework. It fills in as a substance tracker for code with a rendition control framework. This VCS permits designers to make changes to the code and note those progressions in a set of experiences design. Basically, Git was made in light of the fact that, as a general rule, Numerous website developers work on single activities and fill in as a capacity for those code records. However, this permits many individuals as could be allowed to chip away at a similar code document paying little mind to where they are on the planet. Now by any chance your code got deleted or a file in error on Git and you're freaking out. Not a problem as you're watching this video already. You can recover your file using this helpful video. Aside from investigating code for extended time and gazing on evaluations for extended periods, one thing engineers disdain is losing their source codes. As a developer, you more likely than not erase your code in Blunder one time or the other. Case 1. You deleted a file but didn't commit. Missing your data on Git after perpetrating the task on Git is hugely rarefied. In fact, it at least takes removing your whole local repository without having any backup on the remote server to completely misplace a file on Git. In case you made a mistake and realized it soon after you deleted a file without committing, simply enter the code shown in the screen to retrieve the deleted file. Case 2. You deleted the file and committed the deletion. When you eliminated the data or file, you also committed the deletion and you found out later that you needed the file. To get the git undo delete file, you need to do a reset. This action however has a disadvantage. It may delete other changes made to the file after the commit. Once you run the command, it is impossible to undo this operation. So make sure you are aware about this. Case 3. You committed the deletion and then you did more commits. Dealing with the task, profound and erasure, and afterward went on to work, making more submits while at it, your record is as yet recoverable. You need to search for the commit that actually has the erased document as shown. Recover deleted files in a Git repository with 40DIG. If the above methods didn't work for you, then you will have to use a professional data recovery software, which is nothing but Tenorshare 40DIG. It is a pretty professional third-party tool that allows you to put things in order with minimal effort. Surprisingly, 40DIG supports more than 1000 file types, meaning you can recover data from multiple sources without any hassle. 40DIG can recover data from both internal and external devices, including PCs, USBs, SD card, external hard drives, digital cameras, etc. So download 40DIG from the official website or check the video description to get direct download links. After installation, run 40DIG. Next, select the location where you lost files and click on the scan button. Select the file tabs that you want to recover, but if you ask me, I would suggest you to scan all the file types. Now, 40DIG will scan your selected location. This process takes a bit of time, so I would suggest you to grab something to eat while you wait. Alright, now select the folders or files that you want to recover and click on the recover button. After that, select the location where you want to paste in your recovered data and finally, click on the recover button again. 
Now in this way you can restore deleted files in Git without any problem. Make sure you subscribe to our channel so that you won't miss any of our future videos. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care.